Hey guys, Clint Darn here, training at the House of Biceps. I've had a lot of questions come in lately uh, asking about Atlas Stones. Um, I'm fairly decent at the Atlas Stones. I'm not great, but I'm above average. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me that uh, they're having issues with the stones, either getting them off the ground or going in transition from pulling them off the ground and getting them into the lap. If you watch a lot of people, as they grab the stone, they'll bring this one up, and as it gets closer to the knees, they just can't get it over their knees, or they start fumbling it, it rolls out of their hands, and, and whatnot. You know, there, there are a lot of things that can be done, and, and first of all, technically, make sure you have the stone in exactly the center of the stone. You, your hands cannot be in front of the stone, your hands cannot be in the back of the stone. Your arms should go in an absolute straight line down the middle of the stone. So, uh, you know, if your hands are in front, or you're behind, or you try to uh, cut the stone kind of sideways as you pick it up, as soon as you go to pick it up, the stone's going to roll forward or backwards. You're never going to grab it uh, in the right spot. You're never going to bring it up perfectly. So uh, you need to be technically, uh, as technically perfect on the stones as possible at all times if you want to have a fast stone time. Uh, and, of course, you don't want to tear anything. Uh, and you want to just be awesome at stones. So um, I'm going to give you an idea on something you can do to help in the transition. Uh, just atlas stone pickups and holds. Uh, this is something that will strengthen your, your grip, your wrist, uh, your biceps, and, and probably most of all, uh, if you have any kind of weakness in your abs or lower back or hamstrings, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Even me, when I start using the heavier weights, uh, around 285, 310, 345, 365 doing these, uh, my abs and everything will shake just like it, it would be on a, a super, super heavy deadlift. So, uh, as sure as trying to hold today, I'm going to pick these up and nothing's going to happen. Um, or I'm going to have a horrible day, but let's just see what happens. I'll give you an idea on, on what's going on. I'm not wearing any glue. I don't have any tacky on my hands. Uh, so it's going to make it difficult, more difficult as you pick up. A lot more bicep work. Uh, if you're like me and you have extremely long arms, the smaller stones are actually more difficult than the medium to large size stones. Uh, so in general, this is a small stone for me. It's more difficult. I think it's 160 pounds, 74, 75 kilos. Uh, but the goal is just to pick it up to somewhere around knee level or just below. Uh, get my, get, try to get my elbows above my knees and hold it there for a good two, three, four seconds. Uh, and then just let it back down. Let it back down softly because sometimes if you drop it, it's a lot of pressure on the bicep tendons. This is my 105 kilo, 230 pound Atlas stone. Uh, probably even be more, well, it's quite a bit more difficult here. Um, as you can see, there are some nice chunks taken out of this stone everywhere which makes it nice and uh, difficult. Uh, wearing tacky doesn't help too much on this stone because there's nothing really to stick to. I do have tacky on my hands. I don't have it on my arms. I gotta get moving pretty quick because it is really, really hot out here. It's well into the triple digits. Uh, just like we've got a small breeze and the humidity isn't terrible today. Um, this is gonna be a little more difficult. We'll have more surface area on the stone. I'll have to bend down farther to pick it up. And I'll have to pull it up a little bit higher as well. So uh, it's a good stone for me. It's a 285 pound, 130 kilo stone. It's my favorite. It's soft, it's smooth. Uh, there's like a baby's bottom. Anyway, as a general rule, you get a basic idea on how this is supposed to be done. Grab the stone as best you can, pick it up, try to get your elbows well above your knees, hold it there, uh, shoot for five seconds as long as you possibly can. On a hot day, obviously it's hard to get a grip, but it will teach you to get a better grip. It will make your abs, lower back, and transition. Hopefully improve your stone time.